Hi, I'm Terry. I've lost 175 pounds with keto and carnivore. Thank you for watching. And here's my macros for the day. Don't forget to click like and subscribe, please. Thank you. Hello, we're going to get our supper ready for tomorrow. I'm taking my chicken and jicama soup, whatever that I made. And then I'm going to take just for some other stuff as a side, I'm going to take a salad. So I will have, okay, where's the pin? Cabbage, 112 grams. I'm gonna take a cucumber. I know I'm also taking a pickle, but let's just not worry about it. 112, okay, well at least I have our base. I forgot to zero it out, so. Don't look, Judy, I know you're not a big cucumber eater. <clears throat> Alexa, what's 187 minus 112? 187 minus 112 is 75. Okay, so 75 grams of cucumber. I'm gonna do <clears throat> two servings of the sun-dried tomatoes. Just 10 grams. Sun. 10 gram. Um, was that it? Yeah, I guess that's all I'll put on here. Um, no, it's not. I'm gonna put on some some sesame seeds. Put on some sesame seeds. Just for a little fun. Um I'm also going to add, I'm going to do a little garlic and herb seasoning. Just get a little flavor in there and a hint of Greek seasoning. Okay, so we're doing that. Going to zero it out because then we'll do Walden Farm and... Uh, Skinny girl. Okay, so we're gonna do Thousand Island, Walden Farm, Thousand Island. Zero it out. Okay, 30 grams, 32 grams. And then poppy seed is Didn't zero it out, so I need to get it up to 60. Come on. There we go. All right. So 30. So I'm going to take this salad with me tomorrow. And I'll take a pickle. Let me zero this out. Pick 68. Here's my lunch box. So I've got my salad. Oh, so I don't know if I'm going to be eating this or not tomorrow. Um, we have to go out of town for work. I say out of town, it's like about a 45 minute drive to another county. Oh, I forgot my breakfast too. I don't know if what I'll be doing tomorrow. For that um it's gonna be a little weird um I'm, i know i'll get to work early because um i always do so i know i'll be able to eat my breakfast and um so let me do half of this rutabaga um so i know i'll do um i'll get there early because i'm i'm just always early to work and uh so i'll have my breakfast but we're not really sure the town we're going to be going to. Oh boy, it, it's a small town. Um, like you know, they they don't have Walmart there. They don't. Um, I think they have one grocery store. And um, 
Anyway, hang on. One grocery store and one gas station. And I think it's as good as it gets. I do, I, they used to have a Hardee's, I think. But anyway, I digress. Um, so, I don't really know what I'm going to do. You know, if how long we're going to be out there. If we're out there at lunchtime. I'll take my lunch, of course. But I just always do. But if we are out there at lunchtime, then we may be going out to eat. If we're not out there at lunchtime, I may be eating my lunch. So I really don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, if it's a situation, I might just kind of do a flash on of what I'm eating and then off. Uh, you know, it, it's really going to kind of depend because it's a special thing for work. So you will see. But that's what I'm taking anyway. Okay, bye. Good morning. <clears throat> I got to work early because we're leaving, you know, to go on do the work thing today. I got my egg muffin and my rutabaga. I'm going to be eating this cold. I told you, some days I just want it room temperature. Some days I want it hot. Some days I want it cold. So, I mean, it's probably been out of my refrigerator at the house an hour. So, it's still pretty cool. So, anyway, that's what I have for, for breakfast. And I'll see whatever we do for lunch. Bye. It's lunchtime. I've got my chicken and jicama. Can't really hold it and tilt it because it's full. But uh, that's the. Let's see if I can do this. Right there. So that's the chicken and jicama that I made. That casserole soup kind of thing. Of course, my pickle. And. And my salad. So that's going to be my lunch today. We got back home, um, or we got back in town by noon. So I was able to eat my food. Okay, bye. So I don't even remember what this is. But I've got 80-20 red peppers, broccoli slaw, jicama, cabbage, stir fry, uh, that Thai chili, harissa, uh, stir fry. Oh, I think this is whenever I made that uh, Asian blend. I already plugged everything into chronometer. So this is what I'm going to have for supper. Hang on, let me heat it up. Okay, I got it heated up. Now let's take a bite. Hi, how you doing? Let's see. I think it might be kind of hot, but. Got a good kick to it. Got good flavor. I approve. So that's going to be my supper tonight. All right, bye. See you tomorrow. Going to be a wild weekend. I don't even know. I mean, wild weekend. What's a wild weekend? I don't know. But um, we're going to be doing, um, I'll be cutting up some of my, the vegetables and, um, a bunch of meal prep kind of stuff like with the vegetables i'm going to be doing um we're going to make the sliders this weekend um i might still make some butternut squash hang on let me be back so what i was thinking to myself was that you know i usually do 200 grams of my vegetables and um so that was going to be 21 carbs so what i was thinking is what if I did these, got them all cooked, and then instead of adding all the other things I was going to add to try to make it like the Panera Autumn Soup, what if I just added just some of this a little bit, and or maybe even add some of the, um, some of the, that was not me farting, that was my clothes washer downstairs is running, so it's sucking the water out of my sink, don't ask. Anyway, so I might even add some Alfredo sauce to this. But anyway, so we might still do it. What I'm thinking is I might put these in my crock pot and let these cook um, for several hours in the crock pot and, um, and then mash them from there. Anyway, I don't know. We're just kind of winging it. No idea what we're going to do. So, but we still might do some squash soup this weekend just a la Terry to make it lower carb. Okay, bye.